this point in time, now that this budget process is a long continuum, but at this point in time, it appears to be 1.2 million, or 5% above uh, last year. So let's go below the double line and look at some of the assumptions. Um, the first area there is entitled other sources of revenue used for salaries. Uh, it's our budget is increasingly dependent on soft money. Uh, soft money meaning you know non-appropriated money, grants, user fees, stimulus. So in this next budget season, I hope to uh, develop documentation that makes our uh, other sources of revenue more transparent to the process. Um, it used to be just a, a small amount of money that, that assisted us. Now, that assist has gone from an, an assist to a dependence. So, um, I'm going to be making an effort to be more um, uh, uh, obvious about the monies that we use. So, there we, here's, here's where we start. Other sources of revenue used for salaries. There are in three different categories of money we use. Uh, for salaries, and you can see them all listed there. And what I've done is shown what FY10's actual amounts were, and as you can see, they total 1.3 million, or 1,054,000, in those three categories of grants, <coughs> revolving funds, and stimulus. Uh, so here's where you see some of the problem. In the next column, the FY11 budget, you know, the, the early estimate that we have as we move down, we see a little bit of an increase in grants. Um, we're pretty confident we're going to get an increase in what we call our special educational entitlement, uh, uh, which will buy us a little more money there. Revolving <coughs> funds uh, will probably go down a little bit by about $20,000. The reason for that is in FY10, we really cleared out our balances, our carry forward balances, almost like a one time grab. and. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to have any reserves to use in revolving. It's more of a pay-as-you-go in FY11. Again, though, it's early in the process. It's only December, so, you know, things can change. But then it, here's the biggie. The stimulus money, uh, we, we budgeted and are using $740,000 this year, but, it, and we have, uh, we're planning to carry over 329000 that's, that's the, the leftover money. That's the special ed money, right? Yes, it is. Uh, no, no, no. Well, where's the special ed money? Special money, ed money is not factored in here yet because we do not have definitive word that that's going to be refunded next year. Uh, right. We, we hope so. There are indications that it may be. Um, it will make a big difference if it does, uh, Mel, because that's over $300,000. But as we speak, there's no award, there's no indication, and no one will answer that question. Uh, I think what's happening with it is the money is available at the state level, but there is a sense that the money is being held in case there's another Chapter 70 problem <coughs> this year. You know, you know how they used some of the stimulus money last year yeah. to take care of one quarter, of, uh, right. the entire fourth quarter of the Chapter 70 allotment was expunged from the stimulus money. So the money's being held out. So, so Colin, another way to frame this is that that 1224000 increase is really uh, an eight hundred thirteen thousand dollar increase yes. because we're losing yes. four twenty one. So yeah. the six point eight percent is really about four point five percent of the total cost, and that four point five percent takes into consideration step raises and the uh, uh, the collective bargaining increase. Yes, of which ninety percent of that is basically step raises. Yes, that's an excellent way of putting it, Jerry. In fact, and I'd even want to add to that that. Uh, that $800,000 increase that you allude to, once again, I, I would represent the smallest level services increase uh, I can ever recall. Okay. So because I just want to make it straight for the finance committee that, that the $1,224,000 is actually not the increased cost, but a combination of the increased <coughs> cost in salaries plus adding in the $411,000 that we don't have. Um, FY11 that we had in FY10 for the stimulus. We don't think we're going to have. We're not yeah, we're hundred percent sure. Yeah, we're not hundred percent sure. <coughs> Anything that we get in stimulus above and beyond the three hundred twenty-nine thousand would reduce that number by, right. by that amount. But three twenty-nine is our carryover because last year we split it in half. Well, that's what I'm confused. We, I thought we had we more than three twenty-nine. That's what it was. Okay, no. Remember, we did the fifty percent, but then we went extra seventy-five thousand for textbooks over and above the fifty. 
I don't know if that happened though. Yeah, it did. we did get books. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, middle school, in fact, uh, all uh, two. Uh, I can provide you that detail now. I, I had to do it this way because I think what the school committee <coughs> really is focusing on is the town meeting appropriation. What will the town right. appropriation need to be should we uh, advance a level services budget? That's why this information at the bottom is attempting to just describe why you have the problem. Uh, and then finishing off down here, the, the, the other sources of revenue used for expenses, I think we're showing a, a flat situation uh, on the expense side of the house. Uh, our grants appear to be uh, level funding, <coughs> uh, revolving funds, uh, and circuit breaker balance each other out. Uh, Again, I'll, I'll be working with Dr. Manville and the administrative staff to provide um, all of the detail that, that sits behind these numbers. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's important to sum up that our level services budget is only about a 4.5 percent increase. About eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand. Right, about yeah. eight hundred thousand, and yeah. most of that is step raises that have we're obligated. Yeah. Loss. Everything else, okay. that that's about it. That's about the yeah. increase. And, and combined with the loss of the stimulus. Budget. And, and I, I do want to reemphasize the caveat that through a, a, an awful lot of cost cutting and a lot of pretty uh, impressive efforts, we're able to keep expenses flat. I mean, I tell you, you know, the school budgets in this scenario are the budgets that they received in FY94. Um, so, you know, you're looking at that, you're looking at a lot of energy conservation. So for us to be able to come in and sh with special education is a, in there <laughs> with a decrease in expenses, um, is uh, is worth noting. Well, and that's a fingers crossed issue too, because oftentimes we say it looks like special education expenses are going to yes. be level funded or not, you know, decrease, and then we find out, you know, we have three more issues that we have to deal with. And so, what, what about the new bus contract? Have you? Yeah, yeah, yes, we have. It, and that's another point. We um, we've added fifty thousand dollars annually uh, as a placeholder for increased transportation costs. That's included in this. Um, I, I should also mention one thing that's not included here is because I've tried to be uh, consistent in the spirit of level services. The FY10 budget had no textbook money in it in the general fund. As you know, textbook money was uh, advanced out of the stim stimulus account, and there was also a little bit of textbook money advanced out of uh, out of uh, the, <laughs> it's very confusing, when the uh, town voted, remember there was a reversion in FY10, halfway through the year, there was yes, a, yes. a budget reversion. Yes. We uh, worked with the finance planning team to reduce All right. yes. that reversion and, and buy some textbooks. Right. Right. So um, technically, they were not expended out of the general fund, given the, the spirit of how this is described to you. So. Um, that may be uh, something that uh, the administration may end up recommending as an addition here, because there'll be zero textbooks in this budget as, as, as we speak. Yeah, I have a question. Carl, on the, on the paralegals, if I understood you correctly, uh, the $280,000 you said that about 200 of that or somewhere around that was, was that stimulus money was used to pay for part of the compensation of the paralegals yes. in fiscal 10 that's not available in fiscal 11. Yes. Even backing that out, it's, you still have an increase there of $80,000, give or take. That's a 10 or 11 percent increase yeah. over over a 700 and something thousand dollar number if you have the 200,000. Could you explain why that's so high? Sure. I, I said 200,000, Don. I, I, I don't have the exact number in front of me, and when the detail comes out, we'll have it. But it, um, th think of it this way. The stimulus money that we're short for FY11 is $411,000. Yeah. You see that number there? That $411,000 is spread amongst all of the salary accounts. Uh, part of it was teachers. Part of it was parents. The, the more accurate offset that was applied to paraprofessionals, I think, was closer to the $250,000 okay. number. When we have the detail, I think you'll see that the paraprofessional percentage increase is in line with uh, typical year-to-year -year, uh, contract increases. Uh, because this does represent no additional 
it's low. FTE. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Carl, I remember their contract. I think it's pretty low. I think their their cost of living is one one and a half percent next year or something like that. I know it's not. And then the steps, whatever steps they yeah. have. It'll be under five percent. Well, I can I tell you. I wasn't expecting yeah. a big number. Yeah. 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 Even the teachers, yeah, even yeah. the teachers number will come down because there were teachers in that number in that four or uh, eleven also. So you would spread. Uh, 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 Jerry, Jerry was saying the four and eleven would be spread in the change column. Yes. And that's how you get down. To yeah. That. yeah. So the, the actual delta year to year is seven hundred eighty thousand when you when yeah. you do the math, which is a th which is a three. Uh, <laughs> if we uh, make that adjustment, the Delta is 780,000, a little over 3%. So, I think you're The uh, level services budget for next year, then, is if we were to you know, speak in terms of a range, um, we're in the 800,000 range um, because we do have some stimulus funds that we carry forward to offset what would be a $1.2 million. No, 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 no. The, it's the deficit 1. is actually million 1 million two twenty four. Right. With That's those. the actual deficit. We were just trying to explain the deficit because the, the stimulus money we have is back it in. It's three hundred and twenty nine thousand. Right. That's the carryover. So right. Carl, they're make, not counting yeah. the special ed money. All right. What not what do we call it? Uh, IDEA. IDEA money until you see the words that we're going yeah. to get. So as of right now it's one million two hundred and twenty four thousand. Right. But That's the IDEA money this year was around three hundred thousand? Yes, three twenty one. Okay. So that would be, if we did get that again, that it would then be, be subtracted the from the 1224000 okay. from our deficit. So so that would be, what we're looking at 1 million today. If, if we were to have to go to, to town meeting tomorrow with the budget for level services and we decided we we're going to be doing that, we'd be looking for approximately $1.2 million increase in terms of what the town has to fund versus what they're funding this year, correct? Yes, that's correct. And, and, and what the town right now is looking at is asking us to come in with a budget that's a half a million dollars less than what we have this year. Yes. So we're in the same situation we were last year with $1.7 million. Approximately $1.7 million. Yeah, it's yeah. Like 1 .8 yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Great. $1.2 million to keep what we have. Um. I think Cliff's going to make a speech. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, <laughs> we, we made our position I can clear. Like, can you feel it coming? Repeated, and, and I think you know if we need, uh, as a minimum, we need level services. At a minimum, at the minimum, it's, that's what it takes to keep the lights on here. We're not providing as much as we should be providing for our kids right now, and we need to at least keep what we've got. Yeah, that's that's a minimum. If we were to go to level funding, just getting the same money, we'd be looking at a $1.2 million cut. We'd be looking at a, a half a day, twice a week, that wouldn't be working. Right. And if we were to take that 10% reduction, we're looking at the $1.8 million. Right, almost $1.8 million. And so you'd be looking at half a days and increased class sizes, because you can't get there by just eliminating the programs that give you half days and increased class sizes. Well, if you, you know, the simple, no one simple way to look at it is if you take 1.8 million and take 50,000 teacher, that's 38, that's 36 teachers, and then add in another 15 to cover the unemployment cost, that's 51. I mean, that's a simple, that's a simple, that isn't what we do. Yeah. But that's a simple way to look at it. Yeah. Just, just to put it in perspective, yeah. 1.8 million supports 36 teachers approximately, yeah. give or take. 36 teachers. We average 50,000 salaries. So there's seven teachers per school. Right. So, so we have a lot of issues to work through here. And, and hopefully, um, you know, the, 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 the town finance director is being conservative and uh, is expecting a 10% cut in um, state aid next year. However, I, I, you know, the Globe on Friday had a pretty positive story about the state is ahead. Um, in revenue collections this year. They think they're going to beat their expectations, so maybe that won't happen. Well, Mel and I um, are bringing to the table, the finance planning table, dealing to this board, and I think we were kind of clear last time that you know, we're not thinking lower than level services. Right. Um, and that's, you know, the pitch that you want us to keep, um, then that's what we'll do.